this is Alex. I'm here with Kevin, and we're going to look over a combination from the butterfly guard. We're going to look to use the arm drag to close the distance, and we're going to use the reverse X to enter into the saddle. When I'm in the butterfly guard, a very strong opening play is going to be to look for an arm drag for a number of reasons. As soon as I'm looking for the arm drag, I'm automatically looking to expose my partner's back. I can use that to close the distance and go in for their legs. And also, I'm negating one of the main uh, passes that they can do. If they're on their knees, one of the main passes that the person can do is a body lock, right? They can start to dive in. However, anytime I'm looking for an arm drag, now it's going to be impossible for them to do a body lock on me. One of the only things they're going to be able to do is to jump over to my left side, in which case I'm going to be looking to use my foot to block them. However, I'm going to look to close the distance before that happens. So as I'm pulling on Kevin, Kevin feels that I'm about to close the distance, I'm about to come into the legs, he's going to start to post onto my shoulder. I'm going to keep the wrist that I initially had, I'm going to make an X on the leg that I'm going to bring myself towards, and I'm going to pop this hand off of my shoulder. As I pop it off my shoulder, I'm going to use my elbow to post onto the floor, and I'm going to close the distance and I'm going to go for my underhook. From the underhook, I can look for the classic sweep or in this X configuration, I can look to go for the saddle right away. So I'm going to let go of the, uh, his wrist. I'm going to dive and I'm going to reach his pinky toe with my hand. I'm going to go for the classic butterfly motion. And as I go for the classic butterfly motion, I'm going to let go of the underhook and I'm going to frame under his near lat. From here, I'm going to elevate my hips and I'm going to shoot my knee behind his and I'm going to triangle my legs. I'm going to make Kevin sit down, and as soon as he sits down, I'm going to collect the second leg, switch my triangle to my feet being locked, curl my heels in, and I'm going to look to expose this heel and attack from the saddle. So once more. So I'm going to be here. So I'm making a grip on the wrist, and I'm looking for my arm drag. As soon as he posts, now I'm going to take that post off, and I'm going to make an X. From that X, I'm going to shoot myself through, and I'm getting my underhook. I'm going to let go, and I'm going to shoot for the pinky. I need to initiate the sweep to make his legs light. As soon as I make his legs light, I'm going to switch from an underhook to a near lat frame, and I'm going to shoot my knee behind his, and I'm going to chop him down. As soon as I chop him down, I'm not going to establish my saddle position, and I'm going to look to expose the heel from the saddle, or I can look to come up and look to go for my knee slice and other combinations from the uh, top of saddle. 